Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be teaching you how to download and install resource packs slash texture packs, they're the exact same thing, in Minecraft Bedrock or Windows Edition. So you've got basically kind of three versions of Minecraft that they're pushing out there currently. That would be Minecraft Java Edition. This video won't help you with that. You've got Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is on iOS and Android, as well as Minecraft Windows Edition, which is Bedrock for Windows computers, right? So that's kind of the three major versions of Minecraft that are currently out there and this video will teach you how to install resource packs on iOS, Android, and Windows versions of Minecraft, which is great. First and foremost though, I do want to say that if this video does help you out, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up. It does help us out a ton and we have so many more Bedrock tutorials on the way. If you have any tutorials you'd like to suggest, let us know in the comments. But First things first, we will need to talk about what we're going to start with. So we're going to start with Windows. Windows is the same as Android because it's just simple. You basically download a resource pack and you click on it and it installs. iOS isn't like that. iOS is a bit more complicated. So we're going to go through the entire process on Windows here. And it's the same for Android and then iOS towards the end of the video. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. First things first, I do want to mention that this is completely free. All of these resource packs are free. So you don't have to spend any money to get them. Now, now, you do want to make sure that you're downloading them from trusted sources, and that's why we recommend only downloading ones from our website. We currently have five listed there. We'll get some more there over time, but there are currently five Minecraft Bedrock Edition resource packs that you can get completely free and install using this method. You can find this link at the second link down below. That second link down below will take you here. This is our top five Minecraft resource pack list on Bedrock Edition. Once you're here, you just want to scroll down until you find whichever one you want all of these are installed the exact same way on windows slash android here we're going to be downloading john smith legacy so go ahead and click the green download button under that and that'll take us off to here again the process is the same for all five of those resource packs and if it expands to 10 or 20 or whatever it's the same for any of the ones on our website once you're here though go ahead and scroll down and click on the john smith legacy bedrock make sure with any of these you're downloading the bedrock edition a lot of them do have java editions as well as bedrock editions we want to make sure we're downloading the bedrock edition which right here it is john smith legacy bedrock when you click on that it will download right away so it immediately downloads and if we minimize our browser it's going to be found on windows in our downloads folder but on android devices i cannot stress this enough if it says view file or open file when you download the file, right? When you download your resource pack, you want to click that. You actually pretty much need to click that. Otherwise, you have to go find the file, which can be more difficult depending on the Android version you're using. But nevertheless, if you don't click that, it's going to be in your downloads for your browser, wherever you can find that on Android. Unfortunately, it's kind of different per Android device and Android phone and what browser you're using and all that stuff. So I can't really help you past that point. But that's why it's very, very important that if you see that view file, click it. And then you can kind of wait until we've got the file here on Windows, which you can get by clicking the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen or bottom left of your screen and typing in Downloads. Now this Downloads file folder here, and in here you will find John Smith Legacy or whatever resource pack you want to install. Right there it is. Now, as you can see, this has a little Minecraft icon. If it doesn't, that means you don't have Windows 10 edition of Minecraft installed. You might have Java edition, you might have something else, but you don't have the Windows edition of Minecraft installed. That's okay. You can look up other tutorials for Java edition. We have plenty of those, for example. But if you do have a Minecraft Windows edition installed, this will be the Minecraft grass block here. Just go ahead and double click on it. And on Android, it's the same thing. Just click on it on Android and it will work. That simple, that easy. Just click on it and it will go ahead, open up, and as you can see, importing started. So it's going to go ahead and do that. And then successfully imported John Smith Legacy, or it'll say whatever Bedrock Edition resource pack you have installed or want or installed right there. Go ahead and click continue. Then we can click on settings. And then we can come over here to global resources. And then we're going to go ahead and go under my packs. You can see my packs right there. And there's John Smith Legacy. If you click on it and click activate, it's going to move it over here. Then when we exit out of settings, it's going to reload the textures. As you can see, it is now doing that to be the John Smith Legacy resource pack jump in here we'll jump into a my survival world and you will see that this is definitely john smith legacy bedrock even in game so there you go that is how you can install a resource pack on minecraft windows 10 and android again on android just click that view file when you're downloading it and then click on the file you downloaded now though let's go ahead and jump over to ios ios is a bit different than windows 10 and android because if you click on the pack it's not going to work i'll show you what i mean by that once we get on ios so quick jump cut over to ios so here we are on our website on iOS. 
It's the second link in the description down below. We again want to scroll down. As you can see, there is John Smith Legacy and D-Pixel, as well as like Doku Craft, Paper Cutout, and Jacob's Fantasy, which is the three that we have on there right now. We'll go ahead and do D-Pixel for this. Let's go ahead and click on the screen download button. When we click on that, it's going to take us off to the download page for this app here, where we can get D-Pixel Bedrock Lite. So we want to go ahead and click on that. It's then going to ask us to download it. Go ahead and click download, and the download will begin automatically. Now we need to go access that download. To do that, we need to go to the Files app, which I have open right here. Everyone has this on their iPhone. Just search for Files. It's that simple. Once you're there, you want to make sure you're in your iCloud drive and then go to Downloads here. Then we have Depixel Bedrock Lite.mc pack. But as you can see, if we click on that, Minecraft's going to try to open it, but then it's going to fail. So let's go ahead. Minecraft opens here. Import started. And if we just wait for it, it will tell us it has failed. And it doesn't matter. As you can see, it failed to import Depixel Bedrock Lite there. It doesn't matter. It's going to tell us that over and over again. So what we need to do is go back to the Files app here. And then we want to go ahead and click on this. And then we want to go ahead and select Move. Then we want to go right here, actually, but let me go back one second. It will open up something most likely that looks like this here. You want to go to my iPhone, scroll down to Minecraft, scroll down to Games, scroll down to com.mojang, and then finally scroll down to Resource Packs. Once you have that selected, it will say item will be copied to resource packs on my iPhone. Click copy. And I went ahead and I've actually installed this already as just a test for this video, but we can go ahead and replace in that case, and that is fine. And it will now move that there. Then we want to go ahead and go back to Minecraft, but we'll need to quit it because if we go in here right now, it's probably not going to be there if we go into settings. This is something that I've noticed will happen. So we go into here and then global resource packs. Oh, it is there. There it is. You may have to though swipe up from the bottom quit Minecraft and then reopen it right like so. So when you reopen Minecraft here, it is going to open up right like that. Boom. Then we can go into settings, global resources, and then my packs. And there it is. Just click on it and activate the pack. Once we close out of settings, Minecraft will reload with this resource pack installed. Now, this one isn't as aggressively changing things as John Smith Legacy is, but it still is installed. So, yeah, as you can see, some of the fonts are changing and things like that. But we will go ahead and create a new world. I'll just go ahead and create one really fast. And we can jump in here and check this resource pack out. Boom, boom, boom. Building terrain. And here we are in game, and that's definitely not the default grass texture. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. We are more than happy to help you out. And that is how you can install resource packs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And that is, again, using the ones from our website. You know, the ones from, like, the MC Store and things like that, you just purchase those and they just work. However, these are 100% free and can be installed by anyone. Thank you so, so much for watching again. My name is Nick. Give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. To start your very own 24-hour dedicated Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. Yes, you can run your own Bedrock Edition server with Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.